Alrighty, everybody. It's been a little while, but let's get some puzzles going. What do you say? We do some puzzles today. We haven't done any puzzles in a while. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Look at my puzzle history, <laughs> y'all. This is what happens when you just do them while you're not really paying attention. Um, you go down in rating. Wow, my puzzle rating has gone way down from like the 1400s. Look at this. Woof. Okay. Either way, that's okay. That's okay. We uh, we can figure this out. Um, alrighty, my opponent has just taken a bishop. Queen is exposed. Not really any way to get down in here, is there? Um, capture, my opponent takes, can I, no. Um, capture, my opponent takes, I can't, no. Ah, uh, I think we've got it. Okay, so I think this is the plan here. I think this is the plan. The plan is we capture, we force our opponent to notice the king cannot travel backwards, can't go anywhere. Uh, the king can't go forward. So the king has to capture, which then bring, allows our queen to step in to g5, defended by the pawn, and I believe that is checkmate. So that, that's our plan. Yes. Yes. Ha <laughs> Nice. So that's what's one down. Uh, oh, it looks like I must have done that one at some point in the future, in the past, because my rating didn't move, so that was a repeat. Dang it. Oh, well. All right, let's take a look at this one. Um, my opponent has picked up a pawn. I am the white pieces. First thing that comes to mind is um, the F7 square is covered. Ah, and the F7 square is covered and forks. It's not a big fork, but if I go to F7 with a knight, the rook is under attack, so the rook has to move, which is the only thing defending the bishop. Hmm. If I capture and my opponent swings down here with check, I can pop up here. And then my opponent has the initiative, and they can move. But I think that's okay. I still end up a, a, up a bishop. So I'm going to go for it. Aha! That I did not expect. Because now my opponent is attacking the rook. And if captures, captures, ah, I have it covered, so I capture back. Okay, that's okay. Perfect, and we're up a rook in that scenario. Actually, um, we're up a piece, right, because we, my opponent traded down a rook for a piece. Okay, not bad. That's two in a row. That's two in a row. Let's go for it. That was a good puzzle, too. All right, let's keep the train rolling. What do you guys say, huh? What do you, what do you think of the old... um? Face cam thing here. Good, bad, ugly. Uh, we know it's ugly, but... All right. Uh, so my opponent has just captured a knight. Hmm. When we go here, we give up another knight. We don't want to do that. Aha. Aha. It's always them night forks, buddy. It's always them night forks. It's always the night forks. Got to watch out for those, don't we? All right, we'll keep it running. Keep it running. Here we go. See, this is what I need to do. I need to talk them out with you guys uh, instead of trying to do them on my own because you can see my success on my own is very low, but when I talk them out, and things get much better, don't they? Excuse me. All right. Next on the docket. Okay. So we are the black pieces. Um, doesn't really do anything because captures, captures, we've essentially traded. 
We've traded our bishop for a pawn, so no bueno. Um, oh, I see. I really do. I really want this bishop on this diagonal. I really do, because that traps the queen. So, so if we go knight here, does that do anything? Do, my opponent is not required to capture back. Let me turn the volume down a little bit. My opponent is not required to capture back. But then I'm threatening here with a fork here. So, no. Damn it, no. The answer is no. All right. Oh, and then I capture the rook. Oh! Capture the rook. All right, let's go back. Let's back up, back up, back up. All right, so my opponent makes a move. The rook is undefended because my opponent has not had it. This is early enough in the game that, my, that neither one of us have castled. But it uh, looks like a lot has happened. The rook is undefended. So this threat, this does force... Uh, my opponent to capture because the queen is under attack. So my opponent was required to capture, which means I'm allowed to take for free. Interesting. Now, my opponent's definitely not going to block, so they're probably just going to move their king up and out of the way. All right. Well, we missed that one. That stinks. Look at that. Look at that. All of our hard work in one puzzle gone. Zeroed out. Dead gummit. Mm mm mm. All right, let's keep it moving. Um, this is just a simple trade. If I capture here, it comes with check. Most likely my opponent will simply capture. Then do I have anything from there? No. If I go check. Ah. I go here with check. Opponent can't advance up the board this way, so would have to go backwards. Let's see, if I'm here, then my knight could go here or here. So my opponent would be required to move his king. Can't go up the board, has to go this way. And then what? Obviously, if my opponent captures, then I can capture back and force uh, and go up the exchange. But if I go here, and my opponent can't go to either one of those squares, go, can go here or here or here or here. But if they just tuck in behind the rook, then what? Then what? They just go back? Ah, and then I can force this exchange? Maybe? Okay, well, let's try it. Why would you capture? Why, why would you capture? Back up. Why, why would you capture? Why not go here? I, I don't... I don't... I guess that's why, is because you end up with a passed pawn, like I said, but man, 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 that just seems so... Yeah, I guess the end of the day, you make an exchange here, which allows the king to grab the pawn, 
And you can now have a passed pawn. Okay. All right. All right. We'll, we'll allow it. <laughs> what else are we going to do about it, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Let's get another one in. We can do it. We can do it. Um, all right. So opponent's queen is coming out here. Is there any threats? Not yet. What kind of threats do we have? Excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, our rook is free to capture here. Does that do anything for us, though? Pick up a pawn? Does then put... No, it's a double attack, but um, my opponent has two defenders, so that doesn't help. Capture there, sacrifice, my opponent will come take back. But that square is defended by the king. These two are defended by the bishop. So my queen's really not infiltrating anywhere. All right. I mean, the queen is looking at infiltrating here on the B-pawn. Do I need to worry about defending the B-pawn? Or do I just swing the rook over and double up here? Would that do anything if I double up here? I'm not really threatening anything. All right, if I go take here and then double up, I capture, my opponent is forced to capture back with the rook. And then I go here. My opponent is, captures here. And then I capture here. I think it all starts with capturing here, though, or doubling up. I'm not seeing it. Are you guys seeing it? I hope somebody is, because I'm I'm not seeing it. Maybe that's it. Maybe capture here. All right, so knight captures on d5. If the pawn recaptures, then we they drop a, a queen. If the pawn doesn't capture, then what? Then the knight can swing around here with check. Driving the king into the corner. Does that do anything for me, though? Uh, I don't know. But this is a serious threat. Notice my opponent would have to move his queen somewhere. But what, it, what, what happens if I capture, then queen captures? I capture with check. My opponent slides over. I move here with check. The king can move back. All 
All right, let's start here. I don't, I don't. I'm confused at how this is crazy bad. I mean, yeah, okay, white uh, black king is super exposed. Cuz this is checkmate. No, it's covered. Yeah, I'm not I'm not certain. I'm not seeing it, guys. I don't know why you would just give up a whole queen. To me that seems absolutely nonsensical. So at this point in time, you have a rook and a bishop, a rook and a bishop, and then you have a rook and a knight for a queen. I, I, I guess? I guess? I don't know, guys. I, I, don't, I don't understand that one at all. I mean, we got it right, but all the other lines we were looking at seemed stronger, so I don't know why they would... I don't know. All right, let's do one more, and then I'm done. My opponent is attacking this knight. That's a that's an exchange in my favor. It's a fork. Okay, so we got a fork. So let's go for it. My opponent moves the queen out of the way. Um, can we take here? Yes, we can because our bros are connected. So if my opponent decides to capture here, then I can capture back, and then he can capture there. So, all right. Well, that was a success. Um, <laughs> let me know what you guys think if, uh, if you like this format or if you hate this format. All right? I will talk to you guys later. Bye.